All right, this lesson is finding the distance between parallel lines, and it's actually pretty straightforward. Um, your first couple of examples will just be dealing with horizontal and vertical lines. So if we find vertical, or I'm sorry, horizontal lines, say uh, a couple of them here, to find the distance between them, all we need to do is figure out what the y value of any two points on either two line, uh, either of the two lines happens to be, and then find the difference between those y values. Basically, we can see here that our first line, 1, 2, 3, 4, this line here represents y equals 4, because even though that there are plenty of different x values on all the points in this line, you know, this one up back over here is x is negative 4, y is 4, and this one's x is negative 2, y is 4, and this one is x is 4, y is 4. All of the points on this entire line, y value is always 4. And for this line up here, y value is always 6. So from any two points, one on the upper line and one on the lower line, the shortest distance between the two lines is always going to be that same two units, or the difference between y equals 6 and y equals 4. Now if we're looking at vertical lines, say, uh, in fact, let's do a different color, let's do this in green. Um, maybe we have one over here, and then one next to it, uh, maybe a couple down over here, like so. These lines, this uh, furthest left-hand one represents, what, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, x equals 8. And this one represents x equals 5. Silly thing keeps wanting to connect my lines, and it's getting kind of annoying. So if this, if this line over here is x equals 5, that tells, it, tells us, of course, that any point on this line, the x-coordinate is always 5. Uh, negative 5, sorry. Negative 5 and negative 8. Didn't mean to be confusing there. x-coordinate of any point on this line is negative 5. So where this one is, you know, y is 1, x is negative 5, and this one's y is negative 2, x is 5, and so on, all the x-coordinates are negative 5. For this one, all the x-coordinates are negative 8. So the distance between the two lines is the same as that distance between negative 5 and negative 8, or 3 units. And then finally, if you're dealing with the distance between two lines that are not straight across, what we need to do is learn to use the information that we gained in a previous lesson about finding the perpendicular line. So if we have these two points here, this line, of course, isn't horizontal or vertical, but if we wanted to find the distance between it and say this parallel line right here, all we need to do is figure out what the slope of the line that is perpendicular to either one of those would be so that we can figure out how far it is between those two points. So we'd be looking for a point or a, a line that goes across like this. We need the slope of this line, which would be the negative inverse of the slope of either the other two lines, just like we saw in that previous lesson. So let's take uh, this line here, let's call this line A. If line A has a slope of 1, 2, 3, rise 3, and run 3, 4, 5, so this is a slope of 3 fifths, then the perpendicular line would be negative 5 thirds. So we just draw that line in, find out where it crosses right here, and then we can figure out, using the Pythagorean theorem, exactly how far it is between these two lines right here. So let's take a look at the examples. There'll be one just like these two lines right here that we're working on, and we'll go through it step by step. 